Ricky Ricardo's Mighty Robot vs the Unpleasant Penguins from Plato, Part Two. Chapter Eight: The Attack Begins. Ricky and his Mighty Robot were sound asleep. Suddenly, they heard a terrible crash. What was that? cried Ricky. Ricky's robot peered out the window with his telescopic eyeball. He saw three penguin mobiles attacking Squawky Bill. Well, buddy, said Ricky, it looks like we've got a city to save. Quickly, they made their way to the center of town. Center of town. Hey, who do you guys think you're? Swoofs! I am President Penguin, ruler of Planet Plato, and I have wait. Plato isn't a planet; it's just a gassy ice drop. Everybody knows that. Silence, you fool! If your Earthlings will not know the planetness of Plato, then you shall absorb my wrath. Planetness. Penguin mobile attack! Be careful, big guy. Sergeant. Scratch. Crunch. Gun. Now hold him down. Scab, 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 scab. Crum. Sam. Slam! Crush! Ha ha ha! Excellent! Boing! 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 Oh no! Crush! Whoa! Crack! Crack! Bye! He stuck! His legs are frozen! Mighty robot! Fire up your rocket feet! Oh no! Nothing happened! There is escape his eyes! There isn't enough oxygen to fire them up. Ha ha ha! I win! I win! I win! I have you now, you fools! You have no place to run. Now we plan, we prepare to be destroyed. Chapter Nine: The Big Battle in Flippo Lama. The Penguin Mobile attacks. Ricky's robot fought back. Ricky's robot battled hard. The penguin mobile battled hard. Ricky's robot lost the war. Chapter ten. But then, the big battle had caused quite a loud ruckus. The terrible noise reached all the way, all the way up to the mountain top. What is going on out there? cried Lucy. It is so noisy. I can't even hear myself eat. Fudge Cupcake and Fudge Cupcake looked out the window. They saw Ricky's mighty robot buried in the ice. Robot buried in the ice. They saw the victorious penguin mobile celebrating. Fudge and Cupcake panicked. They jumped and whined and ran around in circles. What's the matter with them? cried Clanky. Oh, they're just in hyper, said Lucy. They just got that way when they eat too much candy. But then Fudge and Cupcake could not settle down. They put, point, and roar and scratch on the window. Would you guys chill? Shouted Lucy. I told you not to eat all those gummy spiders. Finally, Cupcake could take it no longer. He ran and grabbed Lucy in his mouth and carried her to the window. Lucy looked up. Hey! cried Lucy. That's the mighty robot. He got frozen. Nigel, Clanky, Fudge, and Waffle rushed to the window and looked out too. What are those penguin robots doing? Asked Lucy. Oh, those are our guys," said Clanky proudly. "We are invading Earth." "You are what?" cried Lucy. "What's wrong with you?" 
Uh, it wasn't our idea, cried Nigel. Our president was mad because your scientist said Pluto wasn't our planet anymore. Who cares, said Lucy. You can't fight a fight just because you don't like what someone said. Even I know that, and I'm only five. I am sorry, your highness, said Nigel. I am sorry, too, Clanky cried. If you're really sorry, said Lucy, don't just say it, you better do something about it. Lucy stuffed some jelly bean into her pocket and ran down the stairs to the cargo bay. Come on, fudge and cupcake and waffles, Lucy yelled. We gotta go. Where are you going? cried Clanky. We gotta save Ricky and his robot, Lucy screamed. They are our cousins. Chapter 11 Lucy to the rescue. Lucy jumped onto Waffle's back, and together they shot off toward the city. Fudge and Cupcake followed behind them, tearing through the terrain as fast as they could run. Meanwhile, down in the city, things were getting much worse for Ricky and his robot. President Penguin found Ricky on the rooftop and scooped him up in the, his great metallic flipper, flipper. So you thought you can defeat us with your wimpy robot, did you? snarled President Penguin. We are still gonna win, said Ricky as he staggered to get free. We always win. Oh, really? President Penguin laughed. You're doing a great job, bravo. Just then, Lucy and Waffle soared into the cloud. You let go of my cousin, you big bully! What? cried President Penguin. How dare you! Lucy reached into her pocket and pulled out a handful of jelly beans. She threw them at President Penguin with her own might. Hey, stop that! cried President Penguin. Oh, that really hurt! He reached out with his other malactic fl flipper, grabbed Lucy and Waffle, and held them tightly. Suddenly, Fudge and Cupcake came bounding over, lowering furiously. They grabbed President Penguin tank tread with their teeth and shook their head back and forth. They would not let go. Ha ha ha! laughed President Penguin. He looked Ricky in the eye. Is this how you're going to win? Seriously? Is that all you got? Chapter 12 Right Guards Suddenly, the whistling sounds came from the mountain. What's that noise? cried President Penguin. It was the sound of two missiles. They screamed down from the spaceship and slammed directly into the two penguin mobile guard Ricky's robot. Pakao! Kapow! Both penguin robots burst into flames. I've been hit! cried the penguin. He jumped out of his co cockpit and flew away. Me too! cried the first mate. He trembled out of his penguin mobile and fluttered off. Kapow! The penguin mobile exploded. Ricky and Lucy and Waffle fell from the giant metal flapper. Lucy grabbed onto Waffle's neck. Come on, Waffle! cried Lucy. We gotta catch Ricky! He's falling! Waffle flapped his wings and swooped down after Ricky, but he was not quick enough. Ricky fell faster and faster toward the ground below. Chapter 13 Ricky's mighty lover threw out, threw out. Suddenly, a giant metal hand shot out and caught Ricky. It was the mighty lover. The heat from the burning penguin mobile had threw him out just in time. The mighty robot pulled himself from the wet, cracking ice and grabbed President Penguin. I told you we'd win, said Ricky. Chapter 14 Back to Plot 2 Ricky and his mighty robot took President Penguin to the Spooky Bill jail, where he belonged. <coughs> While Lucy and her pet marched the captain and the first mate back to the spaceship, you guys better get out of here before Rick and his mighty robot get back, said Lucy. But what about our president, said Nigel. Yes, said Clanky. Plato needs a president. 
Yeah, don't need the bully, said Lucy. I hereby declare that you two guys were the new president of Plant Plato. Plant Plato? cried Nigel. Do, do, do you really mean it? Sure I do, said Lucy. After all, I'm a princess. What I say goes. Oh, thank you, Lucy, cried President Nigel. We will miss you. Goodbye, Lucy, sobbed President Clanky. We will never forget you. Come back and see me sometime, said Lucy. We will, said the penguins, as they waddled back to their spaceship and blasted off for home. Chapter 15 Pink Pong Party The next day, Ricky and his mighty lover threw a pool party for Lucy and, his, and her pets. They all laughed and splashed and had a wonderful time. I am glad to see that you and Lucy are having fun together, said Ricky's mom. Yes, said Ricky's dad. Thank you for obliging and for making amends. No problem, said Ricky. That's what friends are for.